Hey everyone, happy Monday. I decided to take a couple of days away here at the beach to soak up the salt and the sun. What a beautiful, beautiful day it is today. We are continuing with our exploration of Bob Goff's Undistracted. Today we are focusing on chapters three and four. Two points Bob made in these chapters really hit home with me. First is that we need to be completely present in the expression of our purpose. And a follow-up to that point is an observation that Bob made, which is that in society today, many of us are settling for proximity over presence, meaning that we are happy, satisfied with being in proximity to someone, close proximity, meaning we're in the same room with them. Proximity over presence. So we're fine with being in the same room with someone, but are we really present with them while we are in the same room? Are we settling just for proximity over presence? I have a real life example of proximity over presence and being laser focused on the expression of your purpose. It happened just a few days ago when I was at Hobby Lobby. I was looking for a couple of small easels to display two small pieces of art that I have and I found them there. I didn't think I would find them, but I found them. When I was headed out, checking out, paying for my purchases, my helper was a woman named Elena. She was wearing a name tag. I shared how much I appreciate having name tags on those who help me, because without a name tag, I'm kind of lost. I get easily distracted without a name. She appreciated me calling her by name. And she set her eyes square on my face and asked me this simple question. What is one good thing that has happened to you today? And I responded, well, I'm at Hobby Lobby and I found these awesome easels. I'm super excited. That of course made her happy. She went on to share that she, after work, was going to a gender reveal party for a friend of hers who was having a baby. And this friend just happened to be connected to her church. So we had a delightful, brief conversation. She was focused on what made my day happy, and I was focused on her joy for her activities that came after work. We were both focused on each other. We were definitely not settling for proximity of the presence. What a delightful way to interact. So as we go forward this week, let's focus on how we can be undistracted, focused on our purpose and not settling for proximity. Let's just settle into presence and being comfortable with being in true presence with one another, paying attention. I hope you have a wonderful week. Hope you're having a great Monday. And I look forward to seeing you same time, same place next week. Love and blessings to you.